viewers, it's Wednesday, which means it's time for Wanga Fat Wednesday. An acronym that stands for What Am I Not Giving a Fuck About Today? Where I like to have a bit of a rant about something that's been overblown in the media or the public chattering sphere that really is not worth the fucking attention. And this is one of those weeks where the subject is just written in a neon sign, 100 miles high, unavoidable what I would talk about this week. Yes, it's Miley. For anyone who may have been down a deep, dark hole, I will take away your innocence and say yes. At the Video Music Awards on MTV, uh, Miley Cyrus made a few questionable decisions in my book and in a number of other people's books uh, with the outfit you chose and the dance move she chose and for some obscure reason was having a lot of trouble keeping her tongue in her mouth. But seriously, this epitomises why I do Wang a Fat Wednesday. On so many levels, I just don't give a fuck. I really, I, I don't give a fuck about anything Miley Cyrus does. It doesn't interest me. She's not part of my life. She is not a part of the life of the people who go on about it. You know, she's a part of her family's life. They're the ones who maybe should or shouldn't be worried about what she does. I don't care. And there were shades of this all along. I mean, the, there were people who apparently are completely oblivious to what sort of fuckwit they were being, going on and on about. They were disgusted. Outrage. This is appalling. Moral decay. Miley Cyrus, you should not have done that. Oh, she's awful. There was someone else there too. The whole twerking thing. Everyone's going, how could she do that? Her, he was there. Did you not say that's the thing? This is the fucking hypocrisy that people go on with all the time. The whole you know, slut shaming thing. And slut walks on this weekend in Melbourne. If you want to protest this sort of double standard bullshit. Side issue. The idea that people would actually vilify it and completely ignore the fact that the other the guy was part of it as well. There were so few saying, yeah, it wasn't Miley Cyrus and Robin Thicke did this terrible thing. It was Miley Cyrus did this terrible thing. Miley Cyrus, did you not see the guy in the Beetlejuice suit? He was part of it too, you fuckwits. Oh, and then, see, I don't really mind if gossip sites, gossip mags cover this. It's the sort of drivel they do. And I don't mind if just viewers and music fans talk about it. It's their thing. But when it's the most prominently featured thing on media sites and on newspapers that are supposed to be about the news, that they tell us that that's an important service and we shouldn't let them know, oh, go pay for the news. Don't get it free. Fuck you, people. You're a fucking irrelevance. It's like, oh, as we race to the bottom and try and be more trashy than DMZ, oh, just fuck off. I could not give a fuck about any of these news services justifying their old bullshit they go back with. It's what the people want. Fuck off! The people don't own these media outlets. They don't control what goes out. You fucking idiots are the ones that shovel this shit out there. People don't demand you do this. You choose to do this. Oh, I don't give a fuck about what happens to these news sites. How much money they bleed and they disappear. They're an anomaly of the 20th century. And the world will fucking go on without them. And will probably be better off for it. The one saving grace are when things like this happen. Uh, people on the internet who make funny things about them. My personal favourites... If you haven't seen them, check them out. Uh, look for the reaction uh, of the Breaking Bad characters to Miley Cyrus's performance. It's an awesome moment in this week's Breaking Bad where they watched a video uh, with Walt doing something devious. I won't give it away, but you get uh, Hank and his wife acting really sort of, oh, oh, and just cutting that with Miley Cyrus was a fucking masterstroke. And the second bit that makes it all worthwhile is the uh, Smith family. Will, Jada, Jaden, and Willow. And the looks on the, their faces, they're in the front row, and they are getting much more of a view than I think they ever wanted. So 
Miley, if you never do anything else worthwhile in your life, you actually made my life, but my week, you made my week by letting me see this picture of the Smith family faces.